Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am pre-shuffling for you. This is a collective. Okay. Turn that around. Ah! I'm just trying to get back to normal, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see one of these. Remember this is so general. This can go any which way. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'm Brandy. <laughs> I take many forms. Alright. First, let's dive in. We have Saturn representing the truth, which would be an air energy, um, in my opinion. I get air energy off of this. Okay. And that is trying to show you something uh, to correct. Why, why you've been, like, restricted. Why there's been delays. Because there's something you haven't fixed in your life, right? Uh, you keep repeating a pattern, a cycle. This is awful. Oh, this could also represent the law. Okay. Um. I mean, seriously. But this is just like, hey, it's time to fix things so you don't keep repeating these patterns. Whether that's love, life, relationship, whatever. It is a general. Okay. Then we have Mercury. <laughs> it's so hard to say. Which is all about your mind. Which would be. A normal tarot, we could say this was the magician. Energy will be going one way and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, it switches gear and goes a different direction, right? Yeah. That. So this is like, you thought maybe a relationship was going a certain way. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, they're gone. Or they dumped you. Or the plans you had, um that's not what they want anymore right it's something like that and this could be vice versa um if you are the cross watcher please keep that in mind i'm trying to keep everything here this is like the most decent thing i can do right now long story about my living situation we're waiting on the title and we can't get rid of their stuff and, until the title comes and we have our stuff their stuff i'm dealing with as i can getting the stuff as to you as i can so it's very important that you hit subscribe because the more subscribes that I get, the more content I'm going to put out no matter what. So, um, and you can go up to my banner and you can hit that for a reading. Um, you know what I mean? Follow my Instagrams, whatever. So there's that. And then we have number 41 of bringing it into form. Okay. Now what this tells me is you're starting to come into realization of the things or the people that have been blocking you have been holding you up your your mind plays tricks on you making you think you know maybe someone's coming back or you're getting that raise uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. it's time for you to put that action and i feel like this is like running towards the destination running towards the other person it's time for you to really bring that into the now okay um, let's see what the shadow card says. You're so easy to see through. Now, I feel like that was the person playing mind games with you. Right? Most definitely. Someone was like narcissistic gaslighting type stuff like that. Now, usually in a normal reading, these pictures are like those ink blots that psychologists use. That's like for me to get your story. Things start moving for me. But as a general, I try to keep it on the surface with the biggest message that I get. Okay? It's like you you really thought this person might have been it, right? I get it. You thought this was the job. I get it. You thought this was the right direction. You know what I mean? But they're saying... You literally already have the resources that you've been... I think this was a reading for, like, quite a few generals, right? You already have the resources you need in order to take that step that you've been wanting to take. That thing that you've been wanting to wait on, move, go, uh, license, what, whatever. You already have it. But you can't see it yet. You can't see it even though it's in plain sight because they're trying to get you to correct the manner that you behave uh, any any way possible. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. 
okay? This is uh, electronics. This is talking via online, right? Resources. Getting news. We have the death card. We have the Nine of Wands, right? Someone come in, they love bombed you hard. Did they not? They loved bombed you hard. And then left you. And now you're so busy looking back, right? This is also, again, to do with, like, learning. Um, online. Stalking. <laughs> it's like just watching someone's stories but not saying a damn word, right? And it's like, I feel like... It caused you a lot of stress with the Ten of Wands. Mm hmm Um, could live across the way from you. I like to say across the way. Right? They, they made you think that they were coming. Everything went down. Even though they probably could, because I feel like they're... They have some pool. Like, going a little deeper. They have some pool, and they could have. Now you're stuck wondering what's, what the fuck. Right? We have the tower. But, no fear, Aquarius showing up in your own reading, after the tower, what comes? The star. The star comes to take you out of the gutter, out of the stagnant water that you've put yourself in, whatever this is in your life, however this applies to you, to take you out of that so you can start manifesting what it is that you're supposed to manifest. But you're too in your head to see those options right now. They're wanting you to correct the way that you do things. You know, open your heart up a little bit. Uh, see your possibilities, you know. Try to make friends. Don't be so... Uh, one way or the other. Don't look at my coffee cup. It's so stained with Elvis on it. Poor Elvis. <laughs> Poor Elvis. Mm. I do want to read uh, the book portion of this and then we will go. Where the hell is it? And that would just be, you know, it's a general, guys. It's a general. Alright, let's, alright. Beautiful dreamer, you can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. Now it's time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live, manifest. The world needs not only your dreams, beautiful as they are, but also your creation. Get to the desk. Get to the easel. The computer, which was a big thing for me. Like, here. It has a lot to do with the computer. Just so you're aware. Work. Don't just dream it. Create it. Start it. You're being asked to honor that gift, that commitment to complete your inspired task. It will help you to grow. That's a wonderful reason on its own to commit. Okay? If you've been thinking about writing a book, painting a picture... This is bringing you the unequivocal yes. You need to do it right now. Do not sit around wasting your time. Do not sit around worrying about the details. You need to be enthusiastic and things and doors will start to open for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. As you move forward, the prompt, you will probably be provided with all that is needed to take the next step. But you're, wor you're worried about the perfection of it. You're worried about the details of it. I tell people all the time, man, I, I am an earth sign, but when I decide, I have an Aquarius moon, though, and a Libra rising. <laughs> so, I mean, come on, guys. I procrastinate a lot because I want to have the financials. I want to have the backing. I get that. But when I decide that something is worth the risk, I don't dip my toe into the water. I literally full-on do a cannonball. Because that's going to take too damn long for that toe to get used to that temperature. And then work up to the leg to get used to the temperature. Just dive the fuck in. You know, that's my attitude. Just dive the fuck in. <laughs> Alright. And, and stop worrying about this person. You know, this this person. Play with your emotions, your mind. That boss played, played with your hopes, your dreams. Move along. They thought they could read you. Move along. See you next time.